Hey, welcome back to Two Style Garage. This is the day we've been waiting for. We're gonna sand this down today and we're gonna paint it. We're gonna put primer on there. It's gonna be a Rust-Oleum red oxide metal primer. We're gonna follow it up with a Rust-Oleum farm and implement paint. This is gonna be a gloss black finish. It's gonna turn out really nice. It's gonna look really good. I'm Justin, let's get started. All right, so let's see what we're gonna be using here. I'm just gonna pull out a couple of the deals. It's gonna be pneumatic tool time, basically. We've got a little random orbital sander from Menards. And let's see, we're gonna be using this die grinder. It's an angle die grinder here. It's got a metal brush on it right now, but we're gonna be taking it off the air die grinder. Anything else here in the old toolbox? Let's just look. It's gonna be a Honeywell respirator. The cartridges are N7500 1L, MBR 13696. The actual respirator itself, let's see if I can find a part number off here. This is Honeywell 5500 space 38M, as in Mary. We'll be using that for the respirator. Stay. We're gonna be doing a really tight tape job on this. It's gonna be a budget paint job that's gonna look good. We got some scotch bright here. We got the coarse, the medium, and the fine. The hood's already been sanded down, did that a while ago. So I'm gonna be hitting it up one more time. We're gonna take you around, look at the car before. We're also gonna grab our tack hammer. Here it is, little tack hammer. Let's go take a look at the rust. All right, so here's the front of the car. We put this bumper on a while ago. We put this fender on a while ago, grab that from the junkyard. Let's see, down here it actually looks pretty good. We are gonna take the mud flap off. As we go along the car, there's gonna be a few little dents and dings. But right down here, we definitely got some rust. Not. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that for the moment. This is probably the worst part of the car right here in the rear fender. I don't want to knock off more than I need to. But you know. Yeah. And under here, it's the metal. I think we're missing a liner. There's a liner right there. What's, what's the deal here? Maybe we're not missing a liner. Give it a few good wax here. Oh yeah. All right, we'll hit that up with the angle grinder. Swinging along in the back, pretty good. Up on the top is good as well. I took the rain gutter trim pieces off because we're gonna go ahead and use that Scotch-Brite pad. Probably start with the rough and then go with the medium over this. Let's so get those channels ready to be painted. Another corner right in here. I just cringe hitting it, but what do you do? Make sure you wear your glasses when you do this. Over well, over well. It's pretty good. If you're doing this, don't be afraid to, you know, get rid of that rust. Yeah, it's, that this will probably come off with the angle grinder, and yeah, it's not good. One more bad rust spot right down here. Yep, that's how it goes. Otherwise, everything else looks pretty good. Well, we got four bad rust spots.
right, guys, we're back. Me and Tinley get the glamorous job of cleaning this up after Justin's done sanding. Let's get started. Okay, since Julie and Tinley were in here, I came in, put plastic all over the windows. This tape doesn't stick down too incredibly well, so I've been kind of just pushing it back down as I go across and make the final preparations. But, tires are covered, rims of course as well. Everything's ready to go. We don't have as good a lighting in here as we normally do because those lights fell down, they got caught on the garage door and this light Fixture up here is busted, needs to be replaced. So we're working with what we got. We're gonna throw some primer on, and then I'm gonna to have to wait about 24 hours because I don't have enough reducer to do the gloss black. But that'll just be a second for you guys. It'll be a, you know, 24 hours for me. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get started on putting down the primer. Primer laid down, this primer is really forgiving. I'll have everything that I used, at least I'll try to get everything in the description in the video. When I am laying down the black, this first coat is gonna be a little bit darker than you might think, but I'm gonna try to cover this thing with two coats. So I'm gonna go a light to medium coat on the first coat on this primer. Then on the second coat, I'm going to do a medium to thick and it's probably going to be more along the lines of thick because I got to try to get it to lay down nice and smooth. It's really cold outside. It's winter time. I got to have that side door open a bit. This front door will be open just a little bit. The furnace is going to be running on high the whole time. These lights might flicker on and off. I might blow a fuse. It's just kind of a hot mess in here at the moment, but we make it work. So with that said, we're gonna keep it a decent temperature in here, at least enough to get this paint to adhere and cure up nice. 
We just want to try to get it as smooth as possible. Anyways, wish me luck. We're going to get this thing painted. Should look pretty sharp when we're done. I'll try to get you the best camera angles I can here, and we'll, uh, we'll try to knock this out real fast. I think we're going to start over here in the back. I know the lighting in here is not the best, and that's because we got a light out. You know, all kinds of stuff going on. Fire up to here. Back open the door. Okay, hey, again, I'll have to ask your forgiveness with this light being out. We don't have a lot of good light in here, but here's how it turned out. This is a single stage paint for Mustoleum. This is their farm and implement paint. So you think about it for like heavy equipment, John Deere tractors, other things such as that, but I find it works good in these scenarios as well. Single stage is always going to be the trickiest paint that you can lay down. Tail lights, trim, all that stuff is a little dirty yet. It's going to have to be taken through the car wash after it cures all the way. It's dry to the touch right now. I press hard on it and I'm not leaving any fingerprints. So we're good here. Tires are still dirty. Rims, center cap. There's a roof shot for you. I laid it down very very thick and you can see it's got reflection it's not going to have the same exact reflection as that where you prime then you top coat and then you clear coat you don't go through so much of this this covers really well and it's absolutely forgiving this since it's a single stage paint you just burn through it you lay it on as thick as you can without getting any runs it was about one in the morning last night when I finished up, so I didn't clean up much. Cleaned the gun. That was about it. Took the tape off probably about 35, 40 minutes after we had it painted. I gotta show you one other thing you're gonna wanna use if you do go this route and use the Rust-Oleum. And I get this at a place called Tractor Supply Company. This is the Magic Catalyst Hardener 8-0950-4. I don't even do one part of that mixed in. I just do probably like a half a part. So I go four parts Rust-Oleum paint, three parts uh, acetone, and then about a half part hardener. Give or take a little bit, but probably just a little less than half. Anyways, I got a couple things to do to this. Got to hook up some power seats. Got to take it outside and vacuum it out. There is not a lot of space in here, quite honestly working on getting stuff done. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for hanging out. 
We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.